What's cooking, you Venice fans? Welcome back to your lady's favorite YouTube channel. We're finally in the final stretch when it comes to this miserable season. What we've been dealing with with Juventus. Can Max Allegri do anything to resuscitate a dying season and potentially a dying hope for any kind of Europe play for next year? We'll talk about that as well as give you the preview from Max Allegri. Stick with us. We'll fill you in. Ciao ragazzi, welcome back to the Bianca Daily Zone. My name is Justin Sofro. Today is Saturday. It is, of course, May 27th, 2023. And of course, I got your latest rundown of all things you've been all the news you care about each and every single day. Before we do anything, though, do me a solid favor. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. Stay notified for all of our latest videos. And also, real quick, just, just going to throw this out there. If you want to, win a Bianca Daily Zone shirt, go ahead. Go pop over to the Now We Can Talk Like Men podcast channel. The link will be up there at the top right now. And you can go ahead and if you hit that subscribe button on there, you'll be entered in once we reach 100 subscribers to win a free Bianca Canary Zone shirt. Either the black one, the white one. There's also a green one as well. So feel free to do that right now. All right. Let's get into this thing and let's talk about what we have for the match. It is Milan Juventus coming up on Sunday. That's tomorrow. And hopefully Juventus don't die as the rest of their season has gone for the last few weeks. Uh, but first off, let's talk about a couple news topics. Uh, one, Juventus is being linked to another Argentine player, while two of them, Paredes and Di Maria, are more than likely being shipped out at the end of the season, shipped either back to Paris or back to somewhere else. Uh, we're, doesn't matter to me, but at the same time they're eyeing another Argentine player and that is of course that of Valentin Barco now I'm probably saying the name wrong I apologize uh, Augusto uh, Cesar of ESPN Football Argentina is reporting that Juventus is interested in Valentin uh, Barco but would be willing to pay the 10 million euro clause to get him they have already spoken with his entourage they could talk to Boca in the next few days so that's an interesting one that you could be going after especially to fill the left back role uh, especially given potentially guys like Cambiasso coming back to Juventus uh, we'll see but that's just one name that's being flowed out there as of right now especially when you're looking at younger players to resuscitate this club all right let's move on and let's talk about a, a uh I guess the only way I can really describe this is to say, let's say one source is backtracking on everything they've said. And that is, of course, I'm talking about Republica, who is now coming out here and reporting. And you, I mean, you know, if you follow anything when it comes to Italian, European, anything like that, when it comes to the news, uh, the news cycle that is when it comes to the club football, uh, it's all nonsense. But Republica is now saying that um, De Laurentiis of Napoli, uh, Swamp Man De Laurentiis, if you will, is not willing to legend totally leave the summer. Even though I'm pretty sure just a couple weeks ago, I read I read and I talked about an exact report from Republica saying he gave the OK. I'm pretty sure I'll have to ch check myself on that. But I'm fairly certain that it was Republica saying that he gave the OK for him to go and to go to Juventus. Uh, and now it's not the case. We'll see. Um, is it true that maybe De Laurentiis is probably being a little bit petty? Doesn't want to see him go to Juventus? Absolutely. You have a guy who's been at the helm of one of the biggest uh you know, turnarounds when it comes to club football, what he has done for this Napoli squad over this this last summer leading into the season and how well that they have performed. Uh, not not just putting it all on him. Obviously, Spalletti did a lot there, too. But great job uh, by Gentoli. And I would love to see him come in and see what he uh, his expertise could bring to the table for Juventus. Again, this is the report. Um do I think that it means anything? No, I don't. I don't. I think if he wants to come to Juventus, I think they will find a way to make it happen, and he will be at Juventus. There's one guy whose job is hanging in the balance when it comes to when he comes, what will he do, what will he decide? Well, it is, of course, our guy Max Allegri. If Gentoli is here, that may change things for his future, uh, given reports and given the feeling overall of how Gentoli feels about the job that Max Allegri has done at Juventus. But first off, let's go ahead and get into the press conference of what Max Allegri had to say going in as he previewed the match against Milan. Obviously a big time uh, match, big time rival when it comes to um, or when it comes to everything, but also when it comes to the final standings here. Now, Juventus have a chance to put some uh, put some distance or not put some distance, close some distance between themselves and obviously Milan and then the other clubs that are there trying to make the top four at the end. Uh, let's go ahead and go get into it. Max Allegri, his first comments that he had to say, we're qualifying for Europe with a penalty would be a great achievement. It's up to us to have the strength to overcome this period. On the field, we are second. 
We have improved on last year's standing so far in a season with many difficulties. Um, that's fine. I'll grant him that. Yes, they, they should be second. They are rightfully so second uh, when it comes to everything that doesn't involve penalties. Um, in reality, though, when penalties are being um, forced upon your program and your club, your final standing is what really matters. It doesn't matter if you're in second place uh, in the point and, and, you know, wins, losses and draws. It matters when it comes to the final point count. And if you're not in Europe and you're losing money and we're in and then you have an entire uh, exodus of players, then we've got a bigger issue to talk about um, going on, though, he also, with him saying qualifying for Europe would be uh, would be great achievement. It's up to us to have the strength to overcome this period. That's fine. Um, I, I guess it would be a great achievement. Uh, it's for, as a Juventus fan. To me, that's the basis. I kind of expect playing in Europe every year, but, but sure. I guess if you want to make that argument, um, let's move on though. He goes on to say, I have another two years on my contract and I will do my best to get Juve back to competing for the league from the 5th of June onwards. It will be necessary to plan for the next season. I, I not saying he did an about face on uh, some of the comments that he's made recently. The ones that made John Elkin really, really furious and mad where he basically uh, had basically set up the groundwork to say next year is going to be a failure season as well. And it's probably not going to be winning. And it's going to be difficult to win. I don't like that. And uh, maybe now he's trying to try to gain a little bit of that uh, confidence back from the club, but I'm sorry. I think the damage is already done in my personal opinion. He goes on to say differences with the club on Gentoli. I am a coach. I've never had the power in either do I want to have it because it is in the club that makes the choices. So what's he going to say? There's nothing he can say, but one thing he knows if Gentoli gets that role, if he has the power, if he, if he, if he can enforce his will on the club, you probably won't see Max Allegri at the club next year. Will it happen? I don't know. I, I, I tend to think the worst things are always going to happen. So with me, I just tend to think that probably Gentoli uh, maybe it may come and then we'll be stuck with Allegri regardless, but we'll see. Uh, let's move it on though. He goes, he continues on to say that Benucci will be called up. So great. We're going to have him before he has his farewell season next year. Uh, and then while he has a good start, he is an important player with technical qualities. His path this season after injury is normal. The next will be even more important. I, I at least like that commentary saying the commitment to Federico Chiesa, saying that about him being an important key role for, for the team. Um, me, the Italian team was so important. And I think what the Italian in uh, Federico Chiesa has done and has he, that he has accomplished is important moving forward. And I'd love, I would, that would, that would make me sick, honestly, to see him end up leaving the club at the end of the year or in this Mercado. It's still a possibility, but it would frankly make me sick. All right. Let's continue on and let's go ahead and move on to the next part of this. Max Allegri goes on to say, we have to stay focused on tomorrow. We have had too many distractions in recent months. I asked the boys for one last effort with professionalism and seriousness against Milan. It will be a good match. I'm still not sure about Vlavic and Alexandro. I could do the joke, but you know, Alexandro, okay, that's fine. Who cares? But Dusan Vlavic. Like we we need to get him healthy. I mean, we have two two games left, and I understand. To me, I, I I'm trying, I am doing everything in my power as a fan to not just urinate the season away. What I mean by that is like not care about the last two games, even though it's very very strongly growing on me. It's very very difficult to be impassioned right now, given everything that's gone around from the black cloud, from the, perf the, the, the performance on the actual pitch to the penalty and all that goes along with that. It is frustrating to be a fan right now, but if there's one thing we need, we need to see happen, Dusan Vlavic needs to perform like the Dusan Vlavic we've seen in Europe. That's the guy we need. Um, anyway, let's continue. And then was the last bit that we have here from Max Allegri he says, I expect an atmosphere that has accompanied us throughout the season and appeared with many psychological difficulties everything can be approved improved but there's an excellent base for next year and i love this is the atmosphere that has come throughout the season what atmosphere has accompanied juventus throughout the season you mean empty stands when it's at the allian stadium you mean fan support dwindling you mean um and you have a an entire club that has decided to kind of enforce policies that are anti Juventus fans while allowing visitor fans to, to continue to act like the, what you, what we should be getting. They get to bring in banners and flags and do all this stuff and have fun while we look like a library, while we look like a retirement home on and off the pitch, I guess you could say that too for, for parts of the last what four or five years. Um, 
But frankly, it's ridiculous. If you want to have a good environment, if you want to have a good atmosphere, what you need to do is let the fans be fans, let the fans have fun, and let the fans do, do the things the fans should do. That's the one thing that keeps up morale when you're in shitty circumstances like Juventus have this season, the last season, and probably what we're going to have next season. You need to have fan support and let the fans do what fans do. Now that now that uh, Agnelli is out as the president, I think right now what you should do is commit to the Juventus fans and say, guess what? We're bringing it back, baby. We're bringing back the banners. We're bringing back that. You can, you can have the, not tear gas, but you know what I'm talking about, the flares, all that fun stuff. You can bring it back for next season. You know why? Because we need something to build up a little bit of morale right now when the team is, is performing as poorly as it has, when the, when the club has <laughs> done what the club has done for the last few years to put us in the situation that we are sitting in right now. I think that's what I'm, that, that's what I'm getting at. I know I kind of took a little bit of an opportunity for a soapbox to kind of whine and bitch when it comes to comes to being a fan and wanting to have that fan experience back and wanting to be able, even though I'm not there to sit on, to watch on TV and see people having fun and having an atmosphere that is attractive to new fans. And that's what you're doing. You're killing that, that attractive, that, that attractiveness when you have other clubs having fun, having enjoyment, Enjoyment at the games. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully, Max Allegri can get it done. We'll see. <laughs> we'll give you a rundown post game tomorrow. We'll see. Hopefully, if, if Juventus can be successful taking down Milan and maybe keeping their hopes alive of somehow playing in Europe in the end. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, do me a favor, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, stay notified for all of our latest videos. You can follow me at Justin Sofro on Twitter. Of course, you can follow Beyond Canary Zone at Beyond Canary Zone, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Forza Juve, Forza Beyond Canary, say hello to your old lady for me.